And so uh, moving on to components, um, so the great thing about plumbing, you know, reason why um, it's, it's uh, you know, re really easy to work with is that supply plumbing is joined together in order to create a system. So they're essentially this uh, collection of parts that come together in order to create this larger system. And so the parts that make up this system include um, piping and valves along with the units that connect them. And so those units that connect those pipes and those valves are fittings. And so fittings connect pipe lengths. Okay, so I might have a pipe length, I might have a fitting, and then I might have uh, another um, uh, pipe length. And a union is a connection for two pipes that can be um, unscrewed as needed. And so in a union, it can have, you know, it probably employs threading in order to be able to be unscrewed as it's needed. There's also valves. And so the one thing is when you start to, um, you know, I always found that when, um, uh, when I started, uh, you know, specifying, um, uh, you know, uh, plumbing fixtures and plumbing schedules, that I actually spent a lot of time, you know, reviewing and considering valves. And what valves are is they're used to control water flow. And I, I think this is one of, you know, when I see um, newer, um, uh, you know, architecture um, professionals starting out, is they, you know, they, they think like, okay, well, you know, maybe my plumbing schedule um, only includes the fixtures and that's it. But there's a lot more that comes into it. I, I always find that um, specifying plumbing fixtures tends to be a, you know, a bit of a task because it has all of these pieces and those components to it. Um, and of that includes those valves. And so, like I said, the valves um, are used to control water flow. You also have, might have valves that um, uh, also control temperature, so it's thermostatic valves. Um, and they control the water at risers, um, branch pipes, and uh, at fixtures and equipment. And what they allow for um, is for the localized shutdown of the system for repair or replacement, you know, without shutting down the entire system. And so um, what you'll find is um, really with any fixture, there's going to be a shutoff valve. And what that shutoff valve is, is it's this little valve that disconnects that one fixture from the rest of the system without having to shut off the water to, um, you know, a whole house or even a whole building. And so it's really advantageous in that way. So, for example, um, if you're doing a renovation um, within a large apartment building and um, you need to just, you know, uh, switch out a fixture, you know, something that's, that's not a terribly big deal, um, you, you know, basically what you do is you take that uh, shutoff valve, you turn it to off, you replace that fixture, and then you turn it back on again without shutting down the water to uh, that whole building. So, um, you know, it's, it's a smart little thing. And then there's also a check valve. And um, what a check valve does, uh, and you also might find that, um, especially with sprinklers, is that uh, it, it's uh, often referred to um, as an RPZ, is that uh, it's required by code too as well. Um, and so what a check valve does is it's a one-way valve. And what it does is it prevents flow from going back into the system. And so that RPZ valve is often referred to, um, or I should say it's, it's a backflow presenter, preventer. Um, and so it's often referred to as RPZ. Um, but that backflow preventer is typically used for sprinklers in maintaining their supply, um, as well as in keeping uh, drinking water free of contaminants. And so what you, um, you know, I, what's, you know, is a big issue, um, in a lot of uh, older municipalities is that, um, you know, a lot of them have a combined, uh, like, storm drain. Um, and so what happens is that if that gets inundated, oftentimes it can back up into buildings. And so that's what that backflow preventer um, does, is it prevents, you know, any of, of that uh, flow from going into that building and from affecting, uh, you know, either that sprinkler system um, and or uh, that drinking water 
system too as well. So, so that's um, what that backflow preventer does. It prevents that backflow in, back into the building due to pressure.